Let's thank him because he has ordained today. And what he wants to do today, no man will take the glory. What he wants to do today, no man will take his place. No man will take his glory. No man will take his place. You were worthy to be praised. You were worthy to be praised. My will be my. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. I want us to bring out our communion element. We are going straight to the communion just now. I want us to bring out our communion element. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer. You are worthy to... Let's bring out our communion element now. If you have it, please bring it. Bring out the bread. Bring out the blood of Jesus. Bring out the bread and bring out the blood of Jesus. Is it on your table right now? Amen. Father, we thank you for today's service. Being the ninth day and the eighth ordinance. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the Lord that showed mercy. All we've come to ask for tonight is that you will show us mercy. Spiritually, show us mercy. Physically, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy as you have been showing us in time past. Show us mercy as you have been showing us in ages past. And Lord, you said in your word that we should do this often in remembrance of you. Father, as we are set to do this in remembrance of you, use it to break yokes in our lives. In Jesus' name. Help us, Almighty God, and take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can somebody shout hallelujah? I know we are muted. Can we shout hallelujah? If you have the bread there, Pastor Gunga, please unmute us so that we can shout hallelujah. Okay, am I? Do we, we are in for serious business tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless that baby. Hallelujah. God bless that baby. Hallelujah. Amen. Do, do you have your communion elements? Okay. Now sing this song with me. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. I told you the yoke breaking night. He has given me the victory. 
again and again the lion of judah has broken every yoke he has given us the victory again and again the lion of judah has broken every yoke he has given us the victory again and again the lion of judah has broken every yoke he has given us the victory again and again there is power power wonder walking power in the blood of the lamb there is power power wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb, God of Jesus, Kalagadush, Alagade. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. Tonight we declare war against the kingdom of darkness. Tonight we declare war against the kingdom of darkness. Tonight we declare war against the kingdom of darkness by the power in the blood and by the body of Christ. As we come in the name of the Lord, we ask that the blood will avail for us tonight. We ask that the blood will avail for us tonight. We ask that the blood will avail for us tonight. Father, I bring everyone under the sound of my voice and we hide under your blood. We ask, oh God, that your blood will help us. Your blood will save us. Your blood will deliver us. Your blood will set us free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, I am that I am. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now I am going to unmute all of you because I want to flow and I want us to be fast. So I advise you to please unmute your phone because the clatters of our slippers, our feet and moving about can quench any spirit. So please, when I mute you, don't unmute yourself until I say, do you understand? Until I say, until I say mute. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Don't worry, say the hallelujah in your room. Mute, everybody mute so that we can be fast. When you are not muted, it used to stop the flow. Now I've told us to open our Bibles. So open your Bibles to the only scripture that we used to preach communion. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Are we there? Okay. From verse 23 or 24. For Verse 23, for this is what the Lord himself said, and I pass it on to you just as I received it. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus Christ took a loaf of bread. 
I'm reading from New Living Translation. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and you, sealed by the shedding of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. And every time you eat this bread and you drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes. And if any one of you eats this bread or drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, that person is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking the cup. For if you eat the bread or drink the cup unworthy, unworthily, not honoring the body of Christ, you are eating and drinking God's judgment upon yourself. And that's why many are weak and sick and some have even died. But if we examine ourselves, we will not be examined by God and judged in this way. Because when you are judged and disciplined by the Lord, we will not be condemned with the world. So dear brothers and sisters, when you gather for the Lord's Supper, wait for each other. Amen. And that's why we are going to wait tonight. We are going to do what? We are going to wait tonight. And as we wait, the Lord himself will help us. We have been waiting. All these days we have been waiting. Fasting, praying, coming for these ordinances, we have been waiting. But there's something I want us to do tonight. The Lord would want us to tie this communion to everything that has made us unhappy. Everything that has betrayed us. Everything that has not given us joy, everything that has taken away our peace of mind, and everything that the enemy has used to deprive us of our joy, everything that has delayed us in time past. Because we all know that the Bible said that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he broke bread, meaning that he was sad meaning that he knew that his betrayer was at hand, meaning that he knew that his friend, his best friend, just like a brother, was, had already sold him out and was going to point him out. His heart was heavy. It was discouraged. It was necessary for Judas to have done what he did, but the human Christ was discouraged. He wasn't happy. He didn't want to suffer or go through all of those humiliations. Even though he loved us so much, the flesh was weak, but the spirit was willing. Because listen to me, he came to this earth in the form and flesh of man. He was stripped of royalty. He was stripped of power, anointing, and everything that made him supernatural. And he was just there in his natural own self. And so he will feel the pain the same way. He felt the pain the same way you and I will feel the pain. He felt the humiliation the same way you and I will feel it. He bore it all for our sake. But he was bitter and he was not happy for the betrayer. And that's why he said, Bible recorded that he broke bread and he said we should do it worthily, discerning the lost body. We should not come to the Lord or break bread when we are living in sin. We cannot afford to break bread when we are not born again Christians. We can't come to table and sup with him if we don't have a relationship with him. If we cannot help him to carry the cross or bear the body, we cannot break bread with him. And that's why he warned us not to drink unworthily. 
not to drink with sin in our hearts, not to drink with condemnation or damnation. Let's drink with a heart of forgiveness. This was a man who knew that John the Baptist, I mean, who knew that uh, Judas was going to betray him, and he already forgave Judas. So, child of God, before you take this cup, I ask you again, is there any way that you have been betrayed? Is there any way that you are not happy? Is there anything in life that has taken away your joy? Is there anything in life that has made you melancholous, like my pastor would say? Is there anybody, brother, sister, that have gathered against you and they have betrayed you? Yes, all of this has been done and much more. But the truth of the matter is that if you have to break this bread, breaking the bread signifies breaking the curses. Breaking the bread signifies breaking yokes, long, outstanding yoke. Breaking the bread signifies anything and anyone that will not want you to move forward in life. Breaking the bread means breaking free from limitations. Breaking the bread means saying bye-bye to a life without Christ. And so if you think and you know that there is anything or any activity or any one or, or any happening or occurrence that will not allow you to break this bread and there is unforgiveness in your heart, this is the right time to go before God. Don't break bread with unforgiveness in your heart. Brethren, go before God today and begin to ask Him for mercy. Ask Him for mercy. Ask Him to help you. Ask Him to help you. We need to pray. We need to pray. Father, favor my communion tonight. If after this communion with you, favor every aspect of my life. Lord, do a new thing in my life. Let men know that I have had an encounter with you. Let men know that I have spent 10 days in your presence. Let men know that you have chosen to favor me. You have singled me out for favor. You have anointed me with favor. You have perfumed me with favor. You have favored the land on which I stand upon. Let men know that you have baited me with favor. Lord, let this not just be another spiritual exercise. Father, have mercy upon me. I have come in these few hours to sup with you. Let my coming not be in vain. Powers that are challenging me from my sleep or even in my physical world that will not allow me to make progress. Lord, as I come tonight, I break their backbones. Child of God, it is time to pray. As you stretch forth your hands to your bread and the wine, Wherever your bread and your wine is on that table, on that tray, that cup, I change it to the blood of Jesus. The bread, I change it to the flesh of Christ by the authority given me in the name of Jesus. I change them in the name of Jesus. And I make a decree. I make a decree. I begin to make a decree. By the power of the one who created the heavens and the earth. I make a decree. I make a decree. I make a decree. By the authority of the one who created the heavens and the earth. I make a decree in the mighty name of Jesus that the backbone of my enemy, the backbone of my enemy is broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. It is broken tonight. It is broken tonight. It is broken tonight. 
it is broken tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, begin to pray. If there is anybody that has offended me, I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness. I ask for forgiveness for myself and for that individual. Whatever it is that is stopping me, whatever it is that will not will not make me move forward. Whatever it is that will make the hand of the Lord to be short concerning me. Whatever has been stopping my conception. Whatever has been stopping my redemption. Whatever has been stopping my deliverance. Tonight as I break bread and I drink the body of Christ, I make a decree. I make a declaration. I make a decree. Kalagadu sala bronzo ndeyebo. De sekete yi kalagadu zunda yaba. Le kata kata yi kalagadu zanda yaba. I make a decree that no more will I be hindered. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more will I be hindered. No more will I be hindered. In the name of Jesus. The blood gives me decree. The blood gives me grace. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. The blood gives me grace. The blood gives me grace. I receive grace. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, I am that I am. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to good your music. I want you to now take the blood, the body of Christ. Take the body of Christ. Before you take it, I lay my hands on this body. If there be anyone that is sick, as you break this bread, the yoke of sickness is broken. Is there any womb that has been shot? As you break this bread, your womb is open. Is there anyone that has been delayed? As you break this bread, the delay is broken. Is there anyone that has been betrayed? As you break this bread, the betrayer is taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you take this bread, I make a decree that you will not lack bread in your life. You won't lack the physical bread. You will not lack the spiritual bread. From tonight, Amen. poverty becomes a thing of the past. Lack lives your life. Unrighteousness Amen. lives your life. A relationship that is steadfast with the Lord is now your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now take the bread, take the bread and begin to break it. And as you break it, begin to break whatever you want to break in your life. It is blessed, it's anointed, and it has been changed to the body of Christ. It has ability to change your blood group, to take away HIV, hepatitis B, sickness. And as you are breaking it, you are breaking yokes. As you are showing it, you are showing grace. You are showing favor. You are showing anointing. Lack becomes a thing of the past. No more ineptitude. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord is powerful and mighty upon you. Every impossibility comes to pass. That documentation is done. That marriage will come to pass. That business will come to pass. That house will be completed. That shop will be gotten. That business will flourish. That womb will open. That widow will remarry. Jobs will begin to locate you. Dryness and barrenness are taken away. Promotion comes your way. Every long-standing dream comes to pass. Every good long-standing dream comes to pass. Break the bread and take it. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Brethren, the next thing we are set to do is to take the blood of Jesus. Father, for every cup of wine on that table, I change it to the blood. I change it to the blood. 
I change it to the blood. I change it to the blood. And Lord, we give you thanks for the blood. As we drink this blood, we receive divine immunity. As we drink this blood, we are favored. As we take this cup, we decree that it has become the new covenant, the new agreement between God and us. And we seal it with the shedding of the blood. Because the Bible says, without the shedding of the blood, there is no remission for sin. Lord, let this be a remembrance of the remission of our sin. And Lord, as we drink this cup, we will not drink the cup of poverty. We will not drink the cup of sorrow. We will not drink the cup of death. We will not drink the cup of ungodliness. We will not drink the cup of bitterness. In the mighty name of Jesus. We decree that this becomes the blood of Jesus. It's efficacious in our body. It has ability to take away sickness and diseases. It has ability to energize our spiritual life and bring long standing battles to an end. That is the work. That is the work of the blood. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We tie the blood to every dream that the enemy has been using to torment our destiny. That dream of having sex in the dream comes to an end today. That dream of carrying babies and not having babies in the physical comes to an end today. That dream of wearing rags comes to an end today. That satanic dream of somebody bobbing our head or cutting off our destiny comes to an end today. That dream of spiritual husband and wife comes to an end today. That dream of tatteredness and seeing dead bodies and dead relatives in the dream, it comes to an end today. In the name of Jesus, we will not drink the cup of affliction anymore. We will not eat the bread of sorrow anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, that dream where they cut our body and show us dream of backwardness, taking us to our primary school, our secondary school, and taking us back to the schools that we have gone or the compound where we have gone. That dream of swimming in the, in, in the river, it comes to an end. That dream of seeing yourself naked comes to an end. It comes to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus. That dream of walking naked in the dream or waking up with marks on your body, it comes to an end today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, check the cup. It says, this cup is the new covenant between God and you, sealed by the shedding of the blood. Do this as often in remembrance of me. And Lord, I thank you because your blood is lifted up as our cups are lifted up. Let everything that the blood did for us, let it do for us afresh. And let us experience newness. Let every blockade be taken away. Spiritual and physical roadblocks be taken away. Ah, that interview, that visa, that Canadian documentation. As you take this cup, I see the door open. I see the door. COVID or no COVID, I see the door open. I see strangers coming to the rising of your money. I see men competing to do you favor. I see the hand of the Lord lifting you up. I see somebody outside the country relocating to another apartment. And I see God making it easy for you. I see somebody changing the job in and outside the country, changing the job to a better job in the name of Jesus. I see that person that they always show you pepper in the dream. I see God changing it and removing it and turning the tables back on your enemy. I see that person that used to see red clothes whenever you are pregnant and you not see the pregnancy again. I see, I see you being released. I see you being released and I change that white cloth to that red cloth to white. The next time that dream will come, you will see shining angelic clothes in the name of Jesus. And it will backfire on your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I see the throne room of God open. I see the throne room of God open. I see somebody being called to favor. I see somebody being called for lifting. I see somebody being called for favor. 
I am called for favor. I also am called for favor. Ministerially, I'm called for favor. Spiritually, I'm called for favor. Financially, I'm called for favor. Matrimonially, I'm called for favor. Academically, I'm called for favor. My doors are open unto me on all sides. My international doors are open. My spiritual doors are open. My physical doors are open. The gates are open. Thank you, ancient of days. As I drink this cup, I say no to the torment of the evil one. Every long-standing good dream, I begin to enter into the actualization of it by favor. As a member of the body of Christ, I receive favor to bring all my genuine requests to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. No more will I be tormented. Singles, after you drink this cup tonight, this is the last time that you will be a single. This is the last time you will be a single. This is the last time. And for you that you are using your Mercedes Benz, as you drink this cup, favor will come. You will begin to use your Mercedes Benz in the mighty name of Jesus. If it's you that they have diagnosed with one sickness or the other, whether terminal, cancer, HIV, hepatitis B, or even if it is leukemia, or whatever they call it, or oh, uh, this thing they call it uh, sickle cell anemia, whatever it is, or you have a sore that does not dry up. As you drink it, take some of it and rub the sore. Tonight marks the hand. For some of you, your head never causes anything good. When, they are, when there is prospect and they call you to that place, that is when the thing will scatter. God says rub a bit of the, the blood on your head and say, as for my head, you will cooperate with good. Because the blood was, was shed for your sake, you will cooperate with good. The blood was shed for your sake, you will cooperate with good. If it is an injury that is not getting used, after you drink some, take the remaining one to rub on the injury. If it is your leg, you, I mean, that's your, your marital difficulty, take it. Take a bit of it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now drink it now. Drink it now. Drink it now. Take your bread sheet and drink it. Thank you, Jesus. Take this cup. It's the New Testament in my blood. Take it, Pastor Witticus. I will never, never go back to the world. Never go back to the world. Never go back to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to the world I'll never go back to the world I'll never go back to the world anymore I will never never begin to unmute your phone as you drink the blood and begin to pray go back to the world I'll never go back to the world I'll never Go back to the world anymore. I would never, never go back to the world. I never go back to the world. I never go back to the world anymore. I would never, never. Go back to the world, I'll never go back to the world, I'll never go back to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to the world, I'll never go back to the world, I'll never go back to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to the world. I'll never go back to the world. I'll never 
go back to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to the world. I never go back to the world. I never go back to the world anymore. I will never, never go back to the world. I never go back to the world. I never go back to the world anymore. I never, never go back. I never go back to the world. I never go back to the world anymore. I never, never go back to the world. I never go back to the world. I never go back to the world anymore. Kalagadi shalagadazi. Nelege dembra katashi lagadaba. I would never go back to the world. I never go back to the world. I never. Go back to the world anymore. Kalagadu shalagadu shalabaze. Lege de gende ye kataku shalagadu. Le katakasu shalabaze. Kalagadu zonde ye de bozu. Le katabasu kataba. Kala bazuka taba. Kela gadu zala baze. Le kata bazuka taya baze. Le kanda ya la bazi. Le granda ya la bazi, nda ya la bazi. Le kata bazu, nda ya ba. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you because you are changing my story. You are doing me well. You are the mighty man in valor. I am. Lord, you are changing my story. You are doing me good. You are blessing me. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given me the victory again and again. The Lion of Judah has broken every yoke. He has given me the victory again and again. Father, by virtue of this communion, I decree that no demonic dream is settled in heaven. Only the word of God concerning my life is settled in heaven. I bind myself to the internal word of God. Every other word, every vision, every dream that did not originate from the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare them null and void. In the name of Jesus, pray after me. By faith I uproot and I destroy every tree that my Heavenly Father has not planted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every tree that my Heavenly Father has not planted in my life, by virtue of this communion, I will push them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kala Kashiraga Dizadaba. Please mute yourself so that I can quickly pray these prayers. Mute yourself, mute yourself. 
so that I can quickly pray this prayer we can go. Time is already spent, but I want to favor us with these prayers. I want to favor us with prayers that has to do with negative dreams. Prayers that has to do with negative dreams. Since we have taken the blood, I want us to pray. Please mute yourself and get up from wherever you are lying down and get ready to pray. If you have to dance in prayer, dance. But let us pray this prayer now. Basila Granda Saka Tayaba. Ele Brondo Yedebori Kataya Gadu Zadayaba. Le Keten Gada Gadu Sekete Yekete. Kile Grende Yede Keten de Yikala Gadu. Nele Gende Rikatayanda Yarabaze. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power. Mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. I want you to make this prayer confession tonight. We know that we have finished spending our time for the ordinance. But this time is a bonus time because tomorrow we will be praise, worship, sharing of testimonies and thanking god for this marvelous great day of grace and favor it's very important to thank god but i want to add this as a bonus for the week as a boy because i know that as you are praying these prayers and doing all this ordinance of favor satan is coming through the dream to frustrate you and make you look like your exercise is in vain uh he's bringing different antics to your dream Making it look like the victory that you have gotten is just a mirage. But as we pray this prayer tonight, we will be nailing them to the cross. Mm -hmm. Every power of darkness that will not allow to move forward. Mm -hmm. Every power of darkness that is waiting for us at the junction of our house. Mm -hmm. Every power of darkness that wants to tie us to the T-junction of our villages. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. as we pray this prayer, after we have taken power, as mm -hmm. we have drunk the blood of Jesus, and we have drunk eating the flesh of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we have authority and we have power in his name. Mm -hmm. So as you repeat after me and you pray this prayer with all seriousness and all focusedness. If there is any word like that. The God of heaven will hear you. Mm -hmm. And you will walk as a giant, a victorious one. Mm -hmm. And no power of darkness will be able to hinder you or delay you anymore. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, King of Kings. Yes. Father, by faith tonight, I uproot and I destroy mm -hmm. every tree that my Heavenly Father has not planted. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus, mm -hmm. whatever spiritual bullet or arrow that has been fired at me, whether before now or in the course of this prayer, I uproot them by fire, mm -hmm. I destroy their hold, mm -hmm. and I send them back to the camp of my enemies. In the mighty name mm -hmm. of Jesus, Father, I thank you because I belong to you. I thank you because you are light, according to Psalm 27. And Lord, I know that there is no darkness in you at all. And so that's why I surround myself today, my family, my household, my business, my marriage, my ministry, my academics, my career, my children. I surround every one of us with the light of God. No power of darkness must have a way into our life anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Jesus. Father, from today, from today, I insulate my spirit, soul, and body from all demonic influences in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your light shine. Let it shine in my soul. Let it shine all around me that no power of darkness will be able to overcome that light or have any influence over me to manipulate my spirit in the name of Jesus. My spirit can no longer be manipulated. My body is the temple of God. The spirit of God dwells in me. Lord, let your heavenly host, your heavenly warriors, let them take over these battles in my dream. Let them take over these battles in my life. Lord of hosts, fight for me. As I put on the whole armor of God, I begin to resist the powers of darkness. Those that are trying to manipulate my life through dreams, I command you, get out. Get out of my way. In the name of Jesus. All you evil spirits that have attacked me in the dream, I take up arms against you. In the name of Jesus. And by the host of heaven that are on my side, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I attack you. I command you to be bound. I overthrow you. And I throw you to the abyss. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, I cancel every evil prophecy, every negative dream, every satanic pronouncement over my life, over the life of my spouse, over the life of my children. In the name of Jesus. I declare you knowing and void. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kashalaga du shalabazi. Ele grande que se cata yadaba. Sulaga da tokondo yedebo. Sila granda yadabazu. Le kete re kete ye ketebo. In the mighty name of Jesus. This one now is for those that see cops in the dream. Or they see coffee. Or they see dead relatives in the dream. Make sure you sharpen your mouth and pray it after me. Say, I renounce. I renounce you, every familiar spirit. I reject all of your covenant, and I break them in the name of Jesus. Spirit of grave and death, get out of my way right now. I shall not die. No good person will die in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you spirit of death, I have no covenant with you. I have no dealings with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever ground that you are standing Upon, standing upon. I revoke it. I revoke it. I dissolve it. I dissolve it. In the name of, Jesus, the name of Jesus, I cancel. I cancel any cause of death. Any cause of sent, death upon me sent upon by me by anyone. By anyone. In the name of, in Jesus. The name of Jesus. Any messenger of any death, messenger of death sent, sent against me, sent against me by anyone from anywhere. Death. I resist you in the name of Jesus. I declare that all your harassment in the dream is nothing. It's null and void. It shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I return every arrow of death. I have power because I have drank the blood of Jesus and I have taken the flesh of God. So I return every arrow of death, of death, of destruction, of destruction. Back, to back to center, in the mighty name, of, the Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. I shall live long. I shall live my, children live my, long. Children my children will live long. My husband will live long. To the glory of the Lord, in the in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. I refuse to die before my time. I will live to 80 or 120 years, in the name of Jesus. Me, I will live to 120. I punish every death that is meant for me. I cover every grave that has been dug for me. I roast every fire, every coffee, every coffee that is meant for me, all my family. I roast it by roast it by fire. I shall not plan for another to eat. I shall not build for another to in a bit. I shall long enjoy the fruits of my labor. I shall enjoy the fruits of my labor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I scatter, I disband every funeral procession that has been organized for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, every funeral procession that has been organized for you. 
Aka Akaya, Aka Akaya, Lord, I scatter them. I scatter them. I scatter them. I scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Karagadu Shalaba. Please pray with only anger. Pray with only anger. Listen to me. The next dream, the next set of prayer is for those who they give food to eat in the dream. Or those they give dirty water to drink in the dream. Or those who have been injected in the dream. I have seen a young lady that was injected with blood in the dream. After some time, she tested positive to HIV. I have seen a young man that they gave dirty water to drink in the dream. And that man came down with heavy diabetes, but for the intervention of God. And I have seen a young man that they fed in the dream, which is gathered together, and they fed him in the dream. It could not last three days after telling the story. The young man went. So, child of God, make up your mind. Pray this prayer very well. It is crucial and it is important. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus. The blood you have drunk, begin to plead it. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon my body. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body. I neutralize every poison that the devil has deposited in my body. By the power of the blood, I begin to neutralize the poison. With this blood I have drunk, I neutralize every poison. With the blood of Jesus I have drunk, I neutralize every poison in my body. Every sickness, every pain, every weakness, every disease, every form of madness, insanity or bipolar, every suffering, get out of my system now. Get out of my system now. Jade, get out of my system now. In the name of Jesus, I come under the authority of the name of Jesus. Bible says, whatever I bound on earth is bound in heaven. Bible says, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Bible says, every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is condemned. In the mighty name of Jesus, every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is condemned. Tonight, my body has been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb because I have eaten the flesh of Jesus Christ. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. No poison shall have any effect on me. You, my body, in the name of Jesus, because you are God's own temple and because you are partaking of the body of Christ, no more will you be defiled. No more will you be destroyed. I command you, begin to eject, remove every stranger in your body, every poison in my body. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. Kisa la gadu. Bobo unko unto wa nunu aye mi tong ba bode fumi. Ori oru ko jesu ko jade. Whatever is in my body that is cooperating with the enemy to do me good, I command you, come out. Bible says that the stranger will hear the voice. Psalm 18, 45. And they will come out from wherever they are hiding. Every stranger in my body that is cooperating with the devil, that do not want the favor of God to come upon me. Oh yeah, hear the word of God. Come out. Because I have partaken of the blood. I have eaten the body of Christ. So no strange body can dwell with me. Yes, the deliverance is going on. I see deliverance going on in that room now. I see the hand of God upon that young lady. I see the hand of God upon that young lady. There is a young man there you feel like urinating. Please go and urinate. You are sending out those demons in the name of Jesus. Another person, you feel yourself sweating on your head, your scalp. The scalp of your head, you are sweating. God is bringing healing and deliverance to you now. God is bringing healing and deliverance to you. And somebody has your palm is scratching you seriously. Ah, your forehead is also scratching you. Your forehead is scratching you. Whatever the enemy has programmed negatively, the Lord is taking it out. The Lord is taking it out. That unproductivity that is making your palm to scratch you, I command them to come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out and go to the abyss. In the name of Jesus. That is what the blood of Jesus specializes in doing. Deliverance. Setting free. Making all. That's what he came to do in the first place for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command every disease that has been planted into my body. True dreams. Get out now. In the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus Christ. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, my Lord. 
I have been healed. I have been healed. I reject that disease now. In the name of Jesus, every demon that is behind that disease, every demon that is behind that disease, begin to mention the name of the disease. Say, I command you, come out, come out, come out, come out now. In the name of Jesus, Yika Salaba, by this communion wine that I have taken, I begin to neutralize and I cast out of my system every spiritual poison in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days, because I am free. Jesus sets me free. I shall not be bound. Jesus sets me free. I shall not be bound. Jesus sets me free. I shall not be bound. I shall not be bound. Father, I send angels of deliverance into our midst now. Let them begin to set free. And let them begin to do what the blood specializes in doing. In the mighty name of Jesus. The next set of prayer points is for those who have affairs in the dream. Those who the enemy comes to have sex with them. Whether you see the person or you do not see the spirit. Bible says if you are married, the two shall become one flesh. You are not married to any spirit husband. So no spirit has any power over your body. And sometimes when they know that you are about getting appointments, getting job, getting contracts, one unknown stranger will come and sleep with you in the dream. Sometimes they even come with the face of your spouse. And then you will begin to wonder. Some of you will even explain it away. Maybe it's what dream. Maybe it's long. My husband came to me or my wife came to me. Child of God, nothing like that is normal. Nothing like that is normal. As you pray tonight, every affair that you have in the dream that has been truncating your destiny, delaying your baby from coming, delaying your miracle from coming, delaying your word from coming, delaying your husband from coming, every power over your destiny that has been closing the gates to your joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command those powers to be destroyed and I command your gates to be opened. In the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, you can repeat after me. You will say, Lord, I reject every effort of the enemy to weaken my prayer life. I resist you. You unclean spirit that comes to defile my soul and my body always. I break today. I break today. I break today. Whatever all that you have over me, whatever all that you have over me, I break it in the name of Jesus. You cannot defile my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, Whatever covenant is between you and I, I break it. I frustrate the token of that covenant. Because I am married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. Live my life. You so-called spiritual husband or wife. You can call it whatever. Spiritual, you so-called spiritual spouse. I have no business with you any longer. We no longer have any relationship. Get out of my life in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the word of the Lord. Bible says whatever I bound on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever I bound on earth is bound in heaven. I bind you. Get out. Go. You can't use my body anymore. In the name of Jesus. Whatever token of marriage that you still hold unto in my life. Karakatu Sakatayaba. I reject you. In the name of Jesus. Jade, some of you will begin to feel your legs scratching you. You begin to feel the side of your legs scratching you, your feet, under your feet also scratching you, and your toes scratching you. That's the Lord breaking the yoke, removing the demonic ring and satanic bangles in the name of Jesus. Father, set that lady free. Set that woman free. Set that man free. Losing his rope, losing his waist, losing him, losing him, losing him, losing him completely. Drive out that strange woman. Amen. Do not come back anymore. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yela kasu salagadu. Elegende kete sikata. Yekele grende yerebo. Get out of my life now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever token of marriage that you still hold in my life, tonight I reject it. In the name of Jesus. I command 
that the fire of God will come down and burn those tokens. I burn those tokens, whether they be rings, whether they be cowries, whether they be money, whether they be anything, clothes. Whatever token you gave me to seal our covenant, today I destroy it. I break it. I lose free in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I surround myself. I surround my home. I surround my bedroom with the light and the glory of God. So you spirit of darkness, you can no longer have influence over me. I command the thunder and the lightning of God. Let it locate you. Let it blind your evil eyes. Let him pluck it off. You spiritual partners of sin, you will no longer see me. You can't see my bedroom anymore. I will manifest that which God wants me to manifest. I cannot be in that in the name of Jesus. You spirit of immorality, you spirit of wickedness, you spirit of witchcraft, manifesting in form of dogs, serpents, cats, in the name of Jesus. I resist you. Get out of my life. Get out of my home. Get out of my marriage. Get out of my business. Get out of my ministry. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I reject from my body every spiritual intercourse matter that has been deposited by the enemy to block the progress of God. I command them to come out. Because I have taken communion. I have taken the blood of Jesus. Let me begin to weed them out. Let me weed them out. Some of you will feel like going to the toilet. It is coming out. Let me weed them out. Let me weed them out. Let me weed them out. Let the fire of God pursue you. Let the sword of the Lord slay you. Let the blood of Jesus destroy you. Every one of you be destroyed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kosoruko to dabiti Jesu. Kosoruko to dabiti Baba Kalagadu Shalagadi. Kosoruko to dabiti Jesu. Oruko, Oruko, Oruko to Joruko lo. Jesu lo lagbara atugo. Jesu lo lagbara oba titi lai. There is power in the blood. Beloved of God, we go to this one consigning backwardness. After backwardness, we now go to walking naked in the dream. And then we also go to laceration and we conclude for tonight. I see that after the communion, about 10 people have left, but it doesn't matter. Pray this prayer tonight. We are praying against the spirit of backwardness. I need you to repeat after me. Say, I cancel all dreams that portends backwardness in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I break into pieces every power that has been holding me back. In the name of Jesus, you that you are feeling sleepy, better you jump up, get out, get up. Say, I remove from my body every clothes of backwardness. I enter into my inheritance today. You spirit of limitation, get out of my life. In the name of Jesus, get out of my life. Get out of my life. I refuse to go back to square one. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set and blaze every tattered clothes that the devil has put upon me. I command them to burn into ashes. Father, scatter and judge all those who are planning my downfall. I refuse to lose any blessing that the Lord has given me. All my blessings that the Lord has given me, I retain them in Jesus' name. Every one that the enemy has stolen away, I take them back in the name of Jesus. I shall not be demoted to primary school or secondary school. I shall go from glory to glory. This year, I shall have no reason to be ashamed. I will not go to the former house where I was living. Neither will I begin to see myself in the village. In the mighty name of Jesus, I renounce every covenant with water spirits, with marine spirits that has been made by me or my parents or my spouse or anyone on my behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject the spirit that is behind that covenant. And I command that spirit to get out of my life and not to come back anymore. I command the fire of God 
Let it dry up every water where I normally swim in my dreams, in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's why I cover myself with the light of God. I say no to nakedness. I say no to wearing of rag in the dream. I say no to walking naked. I put on the lining effort of purity and righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke, I renounce, I reject every covenant, every agreement with the spirit of disgrace and public ridicule. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus, whatever covenant that those spirits are trying to renew or they are trying to walk on through manifesting, through water, I cancel such covenant over my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says he would the Son of God accept free. It's free indeed. I shan't be mad in my dream. I shall not walk naked. I shall not be roaming in the marketplace. In the mighty in the mighty name of Jesus. I am free indeed. I'm free indeed. Free from water spirit. Free from marine com- contamination. In the name of Jesus. I come out of the grave. I resist every spirit that is oppressing me in my dream. I declare my house, my room, my office, my church, danger zone, my car, danger zone to the enemy in the name of Jesus. And I cancel every dream, dream of hopelessness in the name of Jesus. All every good thing that the Lord has revealed to me in dreams, which have not come to physical manifestation, begin to manifest now. Manifest now. Every good prophecy. Manifest now. Good prophecy. Manifest now. Good dream. Manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In the name of Jesus. Today, I banish every senseless and meaningless dream from my sleep. From today, in the name of Jesus. Spirit that make me to forget my dream. Get out of my life. My dream. Become clear. Become clear. Be meaningful. Be good. Be good in the name Be of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You, negative you negative dream, you shall not come to you pass. Come to I cancel you. I nail you to the cross of Jesus. Tonight, I surround my house. I surround my room with the fire of God and the angels of God. No evil power shall be able to penetrate my spiritual defenses. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus. Now, this one comes for those when you wake up, you will begin to see marks in your body. In the name of Jesus, no more body laceration, no more marks in my body, no demonic scratch, no witchcraft scratch. You spiritual cannibals, you can't drink my blood anymore. Vomit my blood, vomit my flesh, because I have taken the blood of Jesus, the flesh of God. No more can you have contact with my body or my blood anymore. I break every known and unknown blood covenant with a central or territorial spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, fight for me tonight. Prevent my body, prevent my spirit, prevent my body from being defiled by demonic spirit. Father, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise for the communion. Thank you for these prayers. Thank you for paralyzing death. Thank you for spoiling the works of darkness. Thank you for destroying the yoke of the evil one. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for destroying the strong man behind every terrifying dream. I am redeemed. I am delivered. I am saved. I am free. The blood of Jesus has made me whole. Begin to unmute your phone and begin to thank